I just did a remote desktop into my Windows Home Server 2011. I did a quick Winver here so you can see that it is Windows Home Server uh, Premium or AKA 2011. Uh, I'm gonna go off screen, come back in, and I'm actually gonna paste in the installer package for Essentials 2011. Uh, it's easier just to get it from the browser and put it on through a shared folder or through your desktop than it is to bypass the security. Uh, you can see here uh, in the Internet Explorer window that it is uh, available for Windows Server 2008 R2, which is what the code base is for 2011. So we're cool with that. We're going to close this out and we're going to uh, in do the installation now. We'll right mouse click. We'll go to Run as Administrator. Now it's 7.13 right now. Uh, in the PM. Uh, this will take about 15 to 20 minutes overall. I'll uncheck everything but Live Mesh. I don't want to run anything else other than Live Mesh on my server. So I will do that and I will click on Install. Through Camera Magic, we'll go from 714 until 723 just as it completes the installation and then we will do a restart. Uh, after the restart, we'll give it a few minutes to start up afterwards. Um, you can see it's been about 20 minutes overall. I give it a little extra time. I will trash the uh, desktop icon for the setup. And then what we'll do is we will start up the mesh. Now with mesh, you have to log in with your Windows Live ID. So once you've connected and entered that information, which I left off screen, you will be given some choices on what you want to access through Windows Live Mesh. Now you have status, so you can do folders, program settings, etc. But most importantly, you can do remote. Now you have to choose whether you want to allow access or not, and I will allow access to this computer, and it will be added to a list. Now this list is a list of all of the computers that I own that are connected to Live Mesh through my ID. Now that I have Live Mesh installed on Windows Home Server 2011, I can access it. You can see under Status, I can access folders, program settings, uh, even go for styles and templates. But for me, I'm just going to be using Remote. And you can see here that I have a list of all of the computers that I've connected through Windows Live Mesh 2011. As I scroll down to the bottom, you can see that I have my server. So I will click on Connect to this computer. Now, depending on uh, how long um, the system has been on or uh, the speed of your connection or on if someone's currently using it or not, uh, it may take a little while to log into Live Mesh. Usually though you can expect about 15 to 20 seconds. You'll type in a password and I will start it up. Now you can see here that we're ready to go. Again, I will go into Winver and you can see that I am in Windows Home Server 2011. Uh, I can access anything just like I would a regular remote desktop session. I can double click on my dashboard and that will take me to uh, my administration for the server itself. And I can do anything else that I need to. So if I needed to generate server logs, if I wanted to go through and add in additional components, if I wanted to make changes that uh, I could only do through the remote desktop session, again, I would use Windows Live Mesh and access it that way. Again, you can see I have full access to the system uh, just as if I were right in front of it. So it's great. Uh, it works pretty well. Uh, you can, with your uptime chart, for example, uh, with lights out, you can actually see uh, when there's remote access. Uh, you can see here that the little uh, marks here show me that when I was in remote access and what I've been doing. So it's nice to be able to monitor and to view all of that. Again, when I'm done, all I need to do is close out and I'm complete.